the camera. Nobody. <laughs> All of it. All of it. Welcome back to the Dirty Glass. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Dirty Glass. Um, we aren't having the other one of the uh, Glenn Livets today out of the very fancy case because I went on a whiskey buying spree um, <laughs> shortly after that. And I actually wanted to review a whiskey that I have. we've already tasted, obviously, as you can tell. And uh, so today we're drinking the Broken Barrel Whiskey, the cask of Amontillado. So this is actually based on, um, this whiskey in particular is actually based on Edgar Allan Poe uh, short poem. Um, if you're interested or if you're curious of what that is, go ahead and look it up. So this specifically is um, <clears throat> a combination of American whiskeys finished with Amontillado cask staves. And Amontillado is a dry, sh- medium dry sherry. Um, and it does have an age statement on here, 12 year old whiskey fortified with, uh, I believe it says somewhere on here, uh, 12 year old whiskey fortified with five year old Kentucky corn whiskey. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they also use the Amontillado staves in those barrels to finish it off. Which is pretty cool that you don't really think about the staves that they can put in the barrel with it to give it that extra flavor that they're looking for. No. That profile. Yeah, yeah you don't um, think of that often. And I've actually never heard of this until this whiskey. Yeah. So I so, actually, when I was shopping for it, it caught my eye uh, because it does have, you know, the, the creepy old, um, what kind of mask is it called? I don't know. The bird beaks. Like the big, where that's it covers like your eyes. And mask, it's a... But that's like a masquerade mask. Yeah. Um, guy it is. going down. Mm-hmm. There's a guy buried in the in the wall. All of which I looked up the Castle of Montalato. <laughs> By Ed Allan Poe, and uh, you should probably look it up because it's kind of nuts. So <laughs> a little crazy. Uh, we'll get right into this. This is distilled in Indiana and mm-hmm. bottled um, in Las Vegas, Nevada, not Nevada. Um, by For those the of you that Spirits don't know, group. <laughs> it is part of their Broken Barrel line. This came right in at I think fifty-five dollars. Mm-hmm. So let's get right into her. I'm so excited to have it again. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I what first step it. did we forget? Oh, the smell. <laughs> I wonder if you could hear it. Okay, well, <laughs> cork rating, unofficial. That was Aww, pretty sad. That was kind of sad. It. it was better. That was like a, a 2.4. Yeah, that wasn't much. <laughs> that yeah, thank you to all these people. Avoids us. Who, uh, avoids us. That avoids us. That ab- thank you for avoiding <laughs> us and our, our YouTube channel. The numbers show it and the likes don't lie. Yeah, get back on thank there. Thank you for avoiding us, guys. Um, but Providing us is what I meant. Was thank you to all these people who support our whiskey channel. Thank you to our Patreons. Mm-hmm. Our patrons. Patreons. Patreons. Mm-hmm. Thank you, you dirty glasses, is all I'm going to say, okay? And let's get right into this uh, interesting colored girl. Uh, the color on this is really, it's, this almost is molassesy. It is. It's like a... Yeah, that's a good that's a good way to put it. A molasses. Molasses. Yeah, I actually gave myself pretty hefty pour here. <laughs> that's fine. It's our Friday. Oh, it smells so good. It does. It's got a spite night, a nice spice. It's got it. a spite night. A spat nut. It's got a spat nut. And it avoids us. She's got a spat nut. You better watch out for her. <laughs> what is that from? A spat nut. You just said that. I know, but she's got a spat nut. As if it's supposed to be she's something. She's a little spat nut. It's a cute nickname. Spot nut. Hmm. Spot nut. Spicy. Spot nut. Spot nut. Maple. Spot nut. Oaky. Spot nut. Chancy. Not spot. Huh? Did you it's hear chancy. what I said? Smells like me. That's pretty good. So this is on the nose. Mm. It's just really pretty. So it's... you do get the sherry mm-hmm. staves in there. Yeah. Um, and it does smell like a really rich wine almost. Well, I don't know if I get that. I see that I'm supposed to get that, but like I'm I get, not really I get a, it. a rich wine, brandy, hmm. sherry type esque to this. I, I do get more of the brandy. And it is dark fruity. It is. Um, kind of like that also, traditional side. Mm-hmm. But it's also got this like layer of a spasnap. A spasnap. <laughs> it's got a layer of spasnap. It's, I'm drawing uh, a blank on rich it. Spasnap. <laughs> well, there's also nothing that like stands out a ton. It just smells just, rich. Yeah, it does. It, if if you know what we're talking about, rich is a smell. Just go get some and try it. It and smells think very of rich. rich. Let's taste it. Yeah, let's do it. Cheers. Mm. It's almost like a mm. toast. It's super toasty, and the spice comes out. 
It's very sherry up front. It is. The uh, mm-hmm. Montalot. Oh, the finish, though. Fuck. That finish is amazing. What is that? It's like, um... The finish is very brown sugar. Mm, it is. It's very brown sugar, but it's A like... Spice night brown sugar. It's spat nut brown sugar. Like brown sugar on... Or... I'm going to say this a million times. Like brown sugar or caramel with... Uh, cookie cr- or uh, with like graham cracker crust yeah it's totally the finish mm-hmm. but like the linger of that in your mouth yes. is just absolutely mm-hmm. like that's a good way to put down it down my throat because i do get that too especially i uh, right like right up front too it's sherry yeah up front mm-hmm. but in a good way and it yeah, is kind of dry it's it is kind really, of it's an oily mouthfeel but it's kind mm-hmm. of the it's kind of dry uh, she comes in a little proofy, 55%, hmm. 110 proof. Um, oh, yeah. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah. It does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's really well-rounded. The w- I think fortified with the um, with the five-year-old corn whiskey gives it that edge on it. And it mm. really, I think the 12-year took to that sherry so much. That the reason they fortified with the five-year mm-hmm. is to kind of bring it back to the whiskey mm. side. Otherwise, it would have been basically yeah. sherry-influenced. Well, that's a good whiskey. thought. Um, so when you first take a sip and you have the, a big bunch of it in your mouth, that first flavor that hits, mm-hmm. I get, um, almost like ground coffee, oh, but yeah. more of on, um, the darker side. Like bitter, like espresso. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could see yeah. that. Definitely see that. Mm-hmm. Like coffee grounds. Mm-hmm. That kind of bitter. bitter yeah. Coffee grounds. Not yeah. made coffee. Mm-hmm. Coffee grounds. It's sherry, mm. so all that all sherry flavor. That's good. With bitter coffee grounds. Um, mm-hmm. The mid palate is you do get corn whiskey. Yes. I think that's the little. You do. You can tell it's a little proofy. It drinks mm-hmm. great for fifty five. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can tell it's a little proofy by that. You can tell there's corn whiskey in here. It's mm-hmm. got that little harsh sweet mm-hmm. to it, and then it's uh, what would be the brown sugar caramel. Yes. Uh, graham cracker crust. Mm-hmm. Like if it got stuck in your snot, it just drills <laughs> down your throat. Like that. It's sad but true. And a little spat net. <laughs> a little spat net. Let's try some with some water. You know me so well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Best water yeah. droplet ever. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if you guys have noticed this yet. <laughs> Ever. I don't know if you sure ever notice it. So. I don't know. Like eight people watch this channel now. So, um, the best of eight like? people. How about you give us a like? Yeah. A little bit of subscribe. Share a little, a little bit of loving. Okay? You dirty glasses. Just like, subscribe, share with your friends. Yeah. Share with your family. Share with your uncle that you don't care about. Share with your grandparents. Mm-hmm. Share with the people that you work with. Mm-hmm. Share with strangers on the street. Tell everyone about it. Mm-hmm. Rant and, about it. Yeah. Rant about it. Rave about it. Rant rave about it. <laughs> Rank the rave. But, <laughs> hand blown Scotland, just saying. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Mmm. I would like to see that in slow motion. It looks like it. Like kinda, we can do that. We should do that. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it brought out so more sugary really, side. Yeah. Or the brown sugary this side. This literally smells like maple donut. Oh, there's it the does. pastry side. That's the rich. It really. Mmm. That's nice. It smells. Like Which, a by rich. the way, is my favorite donut and also his favorite donut. Yes. How that happens, I don't know. But. It is. Mm. Cheers. Toffee coffee. Toffee. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Toffee, toffee coffee. Toffee coffee, but it, for me, it toffee, really coffee brought grounds. out the proof. It, the huh. sweet subsided. It totally knocked the sweet and sherry down. So this tastes very similar to some really harsh sherries um, I've tried. It did. And it really proofs it up. I still almost. really like it. <laughs> it's good. I mean, it's, I can actually feel it. It's got a burn right here now. Mm-hmm. It didn't before, and now it's burning right here. <laughs> So it's Mine's got a little like... spat knot in your throat. <laughs> or in your chest. Spat knot in the chest. Spat knot. Yeah. Get yourself some spat knot. Yeah. What is that? Some nice spice. <laughs> nice spice. Spat Because <laughs> that doesn't sound like hick. Mmm. Some spat knot. 
It sounds great either way. Fancy or hick wise. <laughs> but yeah, it just got harsh with water. Mm. Definitely without water. It's good. I would say without water Definitely also. Definitely without, without the water. Hmm. Um, well, it just got so harsh. I'm surprised. Hmm. But it did take all the sweet out of it. It's mm -hmm. just harsh fruit. Harsh alcoholic fruit. Right? I have an itch. That's not a weird face towards it. I just like, you know, uh, have you ever had brandied cherries or anything like that? I think so. That's what, like... That is... Like, they're way over soaked in brandy. Hmm. That's the harshness on that. This is really good. What do you think about this being mixed in an old-fashioned? Oh, I think it'd be I think it'd be great. It'd be really good. I think this has a lot of flavor to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. This is something... Yeah. $55 mm -hmm. a bottle, I would rather drink neat, but I'd be curious Same. to try it, especially if one of my friends bought it. I'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah, drink. Mix that. <laughs> Mix it. Someone comes over, I'm like, you're not fucking... No. <laughs> this is neat. <laughs> this is the neat bottle and the mixed shelf. bottle. That's the mixing shelf. This is the neat <laughs> shelf. Get the fuck away from it. But if I'm at someone else's house, mix that all day long. Oh, yeah. Just get it out, honey. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? No, you're gung-ho. I love it. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Because <laughs> if I spend $55 on a bottle, I'm not putting it in an old fashioned. That's true. That's true. Nah. I think we did do that with Statesman, though, so I guess that kind of retracts that statement. That's okay. But that Stay added to the old fashioned, god damn it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dang it. Mm. Um, I would buy, mm. honestly, I would buy this again. This is actually, uh, I really, really do like this whiskey. I'm really curious to try other Broken Barrels, um, other series. Mm. It does have a unique flavor profile very, very unique than anything we've profile. had before, mm. for me at least. Yes, it's mm -hmm. very unique. Yeah. Um, and I could tell you I've already had this with Scar, and it paired absolutely mm -hmm. great. Um, that and another whiskey that will also be reviewed on the channel. But this paired hands down. I mean, this is really mm -hmm. good with a cigar. It's really good and neat. It'd be really good in an old fashioned if you're, it's your friend's whiskey. And <laughs> it, it's just, it's a good whiskey. Um, not so much with water, but neat. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, so go ahead and try uh, try Broken Barrel Whiskey, the Amontillado mm -hmm. cask. Don't ever get yourself in a Amontillado situation. I can tell you that much right now. Someone didn't turn her phone off. It's real large. But we're just going to act like it didn't happen and that the disgrace never hit this channel. Sorry. We got to buy she's movie not, tickets. She's not sorry. <laughs> There's a reminder. We're going to go see Godzilla vs. Kong. <laughs> yes, we are. And by the time you watch this, we've already seen it. Yep. Hopefully. <laughs> So we'll see. We will. But really excited to see it. I <laughs> am one of the biggest Godzilla nerds you'll probably ever meet. I used to be <laughs> subscribed to G Fan Magazine. I had all the figurines. I had all those comic books at one point. Oh, that's cute. Um, huge, huge Godzilla fan. <laughs> and I know it's a little while after the movie, but I want to let it die down. I know some people have seen it already. It's come out. But we're going to go see it. And I will give you my full mm -hmm. review on it on the Patreon, where you can check out some exclusive stuff mm -hmm. like cigar pairings, home brewing, distilling, other whiskeys. Sneak peeks. There's a few people already doing it because it's a really cool freaking thing to do. So you should probably do it too. If you are, are interested in something like that, check out patreon.com forward slash the dirty glass. Also, mm -hmm. if you want some really sweet swag, mm -hmm. like what I'm wearing right now. Mm -hmm. We have some other stuff too that we haven't worn on the channel yet, which we'll get to. You can go to teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash the dirty glass and buy some stuff from us. Yes. If you want to represent also, mm -hmm. like, subscribe, share with friends, share with family, drink, drink some whiskey. The uncle you don't like. The uncle that you don't like, no one cares about, but you still come around, get him drunk and laugh at him. <laughs> it's a good time at every family holiday. Mmm. Yes. It still it smells, smells like a maple donut to me. It and you guys, uh, try yourself some whiskey. Let's know what you're drinking. Taste away. Cheers. You dirty glass. Mmm. <laughs> oh. That was deep-seated. Angry burp. <laughs>